you guys welcome to day three i believe yes i went ahead and washed all the dishes by hand i've learned that any of my disney mugs i need to wash by hand because if i put them in the dishwasher they start cracking and breaking and i don't want that so i need to wash them by hand <laughs> as you guys can see uh it's a lot of mugs so <laughs> you bear with me i didn't clean this one yet because my feet are swelling up i guess i shouldn't be putting anything away and shouldn't really be doing much still but i mean i can't help it you guys right now i'm making some pasta it's not me if it's not pasta we're still working with all of this right here so fun stuff only i would complain or let you guys know about my swelling feet and then go and do a whole 360 and clean the whole house for the whole day and stay standing up for the whole day guys my feet were not okay i don't know if it was the medication at the hospital or what but my feet were swollen but then again i have been on my feet like clockwork okay more than eight hours more than an eight hour job okay so this is for you guys and for me as well of course i need to have the house clean here is another video of me yet tackling the closet guys i swear the closet is a nightmare it's a never endless cycle of clothes <laughs> once i thought i was done with the clothes bam there came another bag with clothes I'm about to show you guys the gaming room so you guys can get a little preview of what it looks like. I don't think I've shown it on camera just yet, so that is what the gaming setup looks like. And that is where I've put my clothing rack at. So that's where I'll be storing some of my backup clothes just until I get the proper storage in my closet. And I finally get to put the little magnet. Guys, it was so satisfying. The moment I bought it, I was so happy. And then I changed it to what it was, so... There was dirty dishes in there, so dirty. No more asking me, hey, are the dishes clean or dirty? Uh, read, okay? Read, honey. Out in the street, they call it yeah. Uh. Human made don't need like these. Waves don't need no grease. Chains don't need no grease. No oil stains don't need no streets. Big old KK in my breeze. That bitch stay on me like jeans. Brand new jeans ain't got no crease. My day to day fits be too clean. Check out the handles, switch, 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 switch,
so I can have a fresh peace of mind. Comment down below if you guys know what song I'm humming. Definitely gotta listen to that J. Cole, okay? Call me when you need some. Call me when you need someone. I thought I was done with all the shoes. And guess what's in that bag? Oh, it's not even like two or three pairs, bro. It's like five, six pairs or more. Oh my God. Guys, why do I have so many shoes? Guys, let me take you to the room. Like I told you guys, I'm just moving stuff, really, to clear the living room. Yeah, um, I know it doesn't look that bad right now, but I haven't even got all the clothes out of the living room because that's mainly what's left. Look, bro, it's like I made progress and then, ugh. So, I'm going to Target, probably in the next 30 minutes or so, to see what I want to do, do I want to buy another of these plastic drawers because it got broke, this one broke in the move, so I have to get three. I wish I had like a replacement thing that was cheaper, but I mean, who's going to do all that? So I'm going to see if I should just invest in something, I don't know, I don't know, or we'll just get the cheap ones. I probably just end up getting the cheap ones to be honest with y'all because these prices are not cheap. And then I don't know what to do with the rest of my shoes, bro. I, I genuinely do not know what to do. I have those laid out right there. But I don't I don't even think I like them there. Like, to be honest with y'all, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But we might have to do some type of stack thing. Buy something where I can stack the shoes. Because that's a lot of wasted space. Just for these shoes sitting right there. <sighs> and then I decided... I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put all the extra bedding in here as well. So that's gonna take up a lot of room as well, which I plan to put somewhere up there. The stuff that I don't reach to every day is gonna go up there, which includes my different purses. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put those fake leaves at yet, but for now they're gonna go right there because, because they will, man. <laughs> they just will. I did laundry, I have to fold and do all that good stuff. These are the other drawers that, you know, got broke or whatever, so. Well, I literally have a whole suitcase full of stuff. Oh my god. And then the couch is filled with, oh. Oh look, liquor, I need that. The couch is filled with all my stuff. This is all my crap. What, what the, when did I get a polka dot shirt? What is, okay, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't know, but I'm already over it, man. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Okay, I want this to go outside. This is outside stuff. I'm a little overwhelmed with everything going on in the bedroom already, so I'm just going to leave this right here for now because I know that if I move it to the bedroom, it's going to be too much for me. This won't be so hard because this right here is mainly like my seasonal slash things that i'll put around the house for now but i know exactly where most of this stuff will go so i'm not tripping about this also i cannot find the remote control for the bedroom to save my life so that's fun i can actually take care of this and oh these are just towels oh well i was looking for towels for a long time and there was just two towels right here huh lovely and uh, what did i say was in there I don't know, but there's something wet in there, y'all. And I don't like touching things that are moist because I think moist and I think of things that could be in there, man. I literally make no sense. I just told you guys that I wasn't going to move all those clothes to the bedroom because it was overwhelming. Yet, I contradict myself and I proceed to put all of the clothes in the bedroom. Make it make sense. This couch is big as fuck. Damn. Well, this is the only way it's going to work, actually, so... 
Because, I mean, how else are we going to do it? This is the only way that really works. That's the thing, like, to be honest with you. I think you broke this. Or whoever. It wasn't me. It wasn't you? It was me. Oh, I was going to say, it was, that, it was most definitely you. I felt like you snapped something back together. I fixed it. All right, you guys, so I don't know if you guys saw from the footage because I did put the camera down, camera down and I wasn't paying attention, but you know, we were basically calculating all the possible ways we could do the layout for the living room. And this one is the only way really because, so we thought if we put this whole console, whatever, whatever, right here, one, I don't like how it's by the windows, but I don't mind because I have windows everywhere, so I have to work with it. So I would prefer that right here, and it's big. So then it's like, okay, if we put that there, and then we put the couch right here. Imagine the couch right here, y'all. It just, it just doesn't make sense because I want the dining room table right there. And just imagine the couch right there. And it, the couch is so big that it's not a lot of space to walk from here to there and then it's just no it's not gonna work out and so really the only possible way the layout works is if we do this right here and i'm thinking bam i do that right here i can finally get a console table i don't know about you guys but <laughs> that's always been a dream of mine a console table <laughs> i man listen oh my god there's this beautiful console table that I have an eye out for years. It's very, very expensive, but I might do it. You know, some furniture, it's forever. So that's my plan going into this. It's this beautiful kind of farm style console table. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can just picture it. Oh. And yeah, this is going to be the entryway. That mirror right there is going to go right here perfectly. And you know, this is where the keys are gonna go. I'm not sure what, where I'm gonna put this plant right just yet. Maybe just leave it right there for now. Oh my God, it's finally, everything's you know tying in and at least now you can come home and at least lay on the couch, at least. There's the remote control for the living room. So, <laughs> hey, one day at a time, you guys, one day at a time, slowly but surely. Oh my god, and I, I know I have to go to uh, I know I have to go to Target, but I just kind of cleaned up the kitchen a little bit off camera and I just don't have the energy I had I don't have the energy I had yesterday. I just don't if you guys can tell I'm very slouchy today It's Monday that rug. I need to professionally wash I was gonna go pay for it, but honestly guys, I was doing some research and you can literally wash the rug yourself. I just need to rent a rug doctor, I believe, the rug doctor machine. What are you doing? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, I need to rent a rug doctor thing. It's like a, I don't wanna say vacuum, but it's a carpet cleaner that you can rent out for, I think 20, $30, and you can clean it yourself, so. Bam, stop being lazy, get it, no excuse. It's not $20, you can literally clean it yourself. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And then all this pile, this is all the pile that I need to take to the cleaners. And um, if you watch my channel, maybe, I don't think I've ever taken you guys to the cleaners. That's, I will take you guys to the cleaners one day. <laughs> I don't know why, but I enjoy the cleaners. It's actually very clean in there and I don't know. It's, oh, it's a laundromat. That's what it is. It's a laundromat. So it's a laundromat, and I used to take it to the cleaners, per se. And when I tell you guys, they messed up my Ugg comforter. Like, bro, I went and dropped off my Ugg comforter, and it's white to get washes actually in there. And when I tell you guys, I picked it up, and it was black. Like, did y'all even wash it? You know? No. So... Ever since then, I just decided I like to wash my own clothes, and that way I know what happens to it. That way I can control 
what detergent I use, all of that. So it's fine with me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear shit from y'all. Don't ask me how we ended up at TJ Maxx. Just be happy to come along, man. Mm. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to look at bags. We're not time crunch. Target closes at 10 and this place closes at 9.30. And I'm not really shopping for bags right now. I know I told you guys I wanted a new mirror. Look at this impressions vanity mirror. I don't know what the price is. Oh, look, there's more impressions vanity right here. Mm. I'm not looking for mirrors right now either, so I'm tripping. I need some cutting boards, but not right now. Like, this does not priority right now. Wow, the mugs look so depressed. Oh my god, look. This is for honey. But look at this. Look, so cute. Kind of like this sugar and creamer set. Very fancy. Look at Yoda. I love how I continuously kept going down each aisle. And I was like, guys, mm, I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. If you don't just shut up and get it, <laughs> it doesn't make a difference if I got it then or later. But I guess. Well, technically, from what I remember, is that uh, it was pretty late and Target was going to close soon. But, you know. My priorities are messed up, clearly, because I'm at TJ Maxx first. Do I regret not buying either of those thick vases? No, because it was white and a cream color. And I needed some color. They got the Halloween stuff. Or they're starting to have it out, at least. Oh, look at the Star Wars one. Oh, look at the salt and pepper. It's $12. If it only was cheaper. <laughs> so I recently got back on my planting journey. I got a bunch of pots and plants, so stay tuned for that. Um, so now I'm interested in the garden area because I'm trying to get some new pots. But the sale is not sailing, you know? The sale, they'd be like $15 to $14.99. Like, please, buy. I love how I was just at Target yesterday, but this time it's different because I'm alone. Alone equals endless aisles put it that way i'm really just looking at everything this is the first time i hear target have a little bit of music on it because usually it's just no music so look at this for hosting a party it's 18 dollars, and i'm also like mm, when am i ever gonna host a party <laughs> okay i believe the z whatever the traps for to kill the gnats somewhere over here oh it smells so good over here y'all I wish you guys could smell this. This is life. Oh, found it. It's called Zevo. Zevo, okay. So I'm trying to decide whether or not. Okay, so the refills are $8. And the starter kit with the carriage and the. Basically, the refill and the, the thing itself is $20. I'm gonna have to think on it. But in the, in the meantime, I'm just going to add to cart. also meant to get this when I went, when I came yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I'm here every day, y'all. Okay, let's get... Buy three or more? No. Just no. No. Alright, so I decided we are going to get the, that and the refill. Alright, now to the main reason why I came is because of these little... Motherfuckers. I know they're on sale. I don't like these. These are from Bright Room, this new brand. I don't like these. I'm trying to find the old school. The ones that match the other ones that I already have. Please tell me they're not out of stock. Oh my god. More Bright Room. I can tell by the pattern. Damn. Oh my god. So they don't have any? Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. I was thinking about getting more of these because these are the ones that I have. That's $10. Dang. 
I might get one. I'm gonna get one of these. I guess they really don't have them. <laughs> so no, unfortunately they don't have the door organizers that I want, at least not that brand. They have Bright Room. I guess Bright Room took over. RIP the other brand the other brand. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is what I want. I want this T flan. Oh my god. Or T Fowl. What? Let me show you guys. I want this T Fowl set. And it's on sale right now for $50. Mm, who wants to gift it? There's too many people here right now, guys. It's almost about to close and everybody's here right now. Also just wanted to look at the chairs just to see. I like that chair, but I told you guys I want to go for something not antique but what's the word vintage yeah vintage stuff so i'm looking for vintage pieces also was thinking i want a new fan but how am i supposed to know if i'm gonna like it if i can't even test it that should be like a tester oh this one's wireless Ooh, sixty dollars I know Honeywell really good. I like that brand. It's cold. I like Honeywell. That's pretty much the only one I know. I like to look at the kids' shower curtains before I look at the adult ones. They're just more fun. But nothing seems to really catch my eye today. This little mat is not ugly. Neither is that plate. I'm trying to go to another aisle, but there's somebody in there, so I'm gonna wait. So we're just gonna pretend like we're looking at the bedding. Oh, well, these shower curtains aren't horrible. Hmm, interesting. Look at this, this is kinda cute too. I like this, it's colorful. That's kinda cute. Is it cute or not? For $25, it better be cute. There's that one, there's a blue option. I like this one better. Ooh, I said I wanted a lava lamp. Ah, I forgot about that. That's gonna have to come later, but. These are nice. I like that one. I like that one. Oh, this is Princess Leia. I opened her, so I'm not gonna buy another one. Spider bite? Who the hell? Oh, look, there's Luke. Luke Skywalker. Oh, look, there's these. These are a little bigger. This one's a big Chewbacca. Dang, Chewbacca. Look at Spider Man. That's big Spider Man. Wow. What is this Star Wars? Star Wars SE enamel pin. What? I almost left the store, but all I need now is a shower caddy. And I don't want to get any that hang. I just want one that I can place somewhere. If that makes sense. I don't want it to be hanging over the, the shower thing. I just want it to be a suction like that. But I'm looking for the professional ones, and I don't see any of them. I just see the suction ones, and I don't want to hear something fall in the middle of the night. <laughs> so, I don't know. I would trust this, but I don't trust anything suction, especially when it's heavy products. We're back from Target, and I did not find what I was mainly looking for, which was the door organizers, unfortunately. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, to be honest with you guys. I'm gonna try to put everything I can in the hanger and I guess I'll just man I don't know I'm getting tired I kind of want a snack yeah so the target run was a fail I guess bright room took over the other brand I don't know if you guys remember the other brand that was before bright room and they had the three drawer organizers and I like their pattern on on those and i wanted to match the one that i already had in my closet but i guess bright room took over that and now it's just bright room they don't even have the other brand and if you want to get the other brand you have to buy it online and for me eh, it's not that serious you know so i'm just gonna like i said put everything in the hangers and just keep looking for a organizer for my closet <laughs> So 
So in the gamer room, on half of this side is where I'm putting all of my kind of seasonal decor as well. I know there's some stuff in the kitchen. There will be stuff here as well. So I'm putting this up there. This is what is in here so far. This is going to the bathroom. I think I'm gonna put this somewhere here in the bathroom as well, just because it's so big. I don't wanna store it. It's really, really big and it's beautiful, you know? And then this, I have to figure out where I wanna put. I'll probably put it on top of the toilet again, just so you can see butterflies while you poop. straight as it's gonna be for now. Let me go ahead and take the stuff that I bought out because I still see a lot of gnats out, so. I'm gonna put the new one in the bedroom. Comes with the new one already in there and this. And then the refill is, you get a two pack for $7, which is this. So, how it works, it already came ready. Boom, pop it up, take the seal off, and don't worry if you touch it, the seal off and plug it in, simple as that. Let's put it, let's put it right here by the trash, perfect, and then at night, or even now, it attracts the bugs, they like the blue light. This is one that I am about to throw away, so you throw this away this away after you used it for three months I think so now we have three and then we throw away these nasty old ones and then all these boxes you don't need any of these boxes I love this plant because it's fake, it's lightweight, 
and it doesn't take much to assemble it or disassemble as well i got it from amazon it is actually linked in my amazon amazon storefront which you can check out in the description box as well as any of my other socials if you guys are interested i would love to hear from you guys okay so i'm a little embarrassed to admit it but honestly I don't really play this game, so I wouldn't know. But I just bought it mainly for decor. I do want to learn how to play it, but in the meantime, it's just decor. So I don't know if you guys can see on my phone. I literally had to Google. I had to Google how to put the pieces, like how how are they assembled? How do they? You know what I mean? Like how do they go? Where do they go? The king, the queen, all those people. <laughs> i don't know if you guys know how to play is this chess or checkers i keep saying this game because i um i can't even remember is this chess or checkers i think this is checkers let me look it up see another embarrassing moment okay hold on let me checkers checkers she course no okay it was chess see i can't even get the the game the name of the game right embarrassing